Hey guys, we're going to be starting the topic of credit and borrowing and this section is specifically on simple interest or sometimes we also call it flat rate interest. Now have a look on the board, I've got a formula for you, it's for deriving the interest when we borrow money. So today we're going to be when we buy houses, not even houses, when we buy like computers or furniture, some items that cost us a little bit more than usual we have to borrow money sometimes because we can't afford to buy that and pay for that on the spot. So what we do is usually say for example from the bank we borrow money but the bank's not going to let us borrow money for free are they? So they're going to ask us to pay interest in repayment of letting us borrow their money. So that interest we can calculate from a simple formula as I, told, as I have on the board. We have two different types of interest. It's called simple interest or compound interest. But here we're only going to be focusing on simple interest. So don't worry about anything else. Just this, um, just this simple formula here is all you need. So have a look guys. Interest, so the interest that we're going to be charged is equal to the principal. Now the principal is the amount that we borrow. So probably the amount that you borrow from the bank, which is maybe the, uh, um, per, sorry, the price of the item. And interest rate is the rate they're gonna be specifying for us. So it could be 10%, 5%, it really depends on what you, uh, what you borrow and what they require you. So this is the rate they require. And the period is how long you're gonna be borrowing for. So it could be years, it could be months, it really depends as well. So that's all you need guys. Principal times the rate times the period. All you need to remember is that one. Let's try the questions now. Starting from a simple example here, Judy borrowed $2,000 at flat rate 6% per annum for five years. Now, as I mentioned, flat rate is also simple interest. So if you see the word simple interest or flat rate interest, it's always using that formula there, okay? Now, Judy borrowed $2,000. So this is the amount that she borrows. That will be our principal, okay? So that's what I'm gonna write here. And flat rate, of 6% per annum. Now hopefully everyone knows what per annum means, it's per year, so it's going to be our 0 0.06, I just wrote it as a decimal. Um, now another one, the period, which is five years they specify here, so the period is simply five. Now we don't have to worry about anything else because this is the per annum interest rate and we're borrowing for five years. So what I want you to make sure is that these are in the same units, first of all. Now they are, aren't they? So we can just simply put it into our in an interest formula, just like this. So interest will be our principal of $2,000, our rate of 6% or 0 0.06 as a decimal, and the period is five. Just multiply them all throughout. You can just use your calculator maybe, and that will just be $600. Okay, and that's the interest. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's really easy, right? So let's actually try the questions, starting from question one. Calculate the amount of flat rate interest for the loan. Okay, now they give us the principal, which is the amount that they borrow, $5,000. The interest rate, they mention it's 5% per annum. So per year, we have to pay 5% of interest of the principal amount. And the period, it goes for 10 whole years. So it's per annum, per year interest rate, and it's in years. So all we need to do is remember our interest formula, principal times interest rate times period. By the end of this, guys, I would like you to memorize this. Even if you might be given the formula in your exam, I still want you to memorize these formulas and just use those given formulas in your exam as reference only. That really helps, okay? So let's try it. So interest is our principal of 5,000, interest rate of 5%, which is 0 0.05 as a decimal, and period is 10. Now, for those who are wondering why I put it as a decimal, you don't necessarily have to put it as a decimal, I just did it there just for the sake of making it more clear. But um, when you do it in your calculator, guys, simply utilize your percentage button. Okay, because I see a lot of people making mistakes when they're converting from percentage to decimals, so be careful when you do that. But anyway, let's multiply it throughout and it's going to be $2,500. So that will be simply our interest. Okay, so they're going to be charging us an extra $2,500 on top of what we borrow. So that's question one. Question two, calculate the amount of simple interest for the loan. So again, they give us the principal, they give us the interest rate, 
and they also give us the period. So we've basically got everything because we're going to be using this formula to calculate interest, aren't we? So we've got everything. All I'm going to do is just plug all the values into our formula. So our principal is 8,000. Our interest rate is 6% per annum, which again, I just convert it into a decimal, but it's not very necessary. And period is 2.5 years. Now, all I'm going to do now is just multiply and calculate it. And that's going to be our answer, $1,200. It's very, very simple, isn't it? So the next few questions, I'm pretty sure you guys can try on your own as well, but have a look. That's all there is. As I said, just mutualize the formula. Now question three, this one's going to be a little bit different and I'll show you why. It's simply asking us to calculate the amount of flat rate interest for the loan. Now, see here, the period is 18 months. Now the rest are pretty much the same as what we've been dealing with in the past. The principal is simply 6,000. The interest rate is 4% per annum, which is a yearly rate. But the period they give us is in months. Remember what I told you at the beginning? The per annum interest rate, so this is in years, and the period, the unit that the period is given to us must be the same. But they're not the same at the moment, so we have to do a bit of converting. So. 18 months, I'm going to figure out how many years there are in 18 months so I can match up the units with the per annum interest rate. So, 18 months, we can divide it by 12 because we know that there's 12 months in a year. So I divide it by 12 and I get 1.5. So 1.5 years is exactly the same, is equivalent to 18 months. Okay, so that's what I would start with um, afterwards. So I just make this 1.5 years. So the Percentage is in yearly um, rate, and the period is also the yearly re yearly period. So now I can just simply put it into our interest formula again. Okay, so let's go ahead. So interest is going to be principal, which is six thousand dollars. The interest rate, which is four percent, and period. I'm not going to use eighteen, but I'm going to be using one point five. And then you just multiply it throughout and you get $360. Okay, so this is the key step, guys. Usually questions like this may worth more marks. So make sure you understand the key part to this question. Question four, calculate the amount of flat rate interest for the loan. All right, again, this time it's a bit different again because the principal is simply $6,000, but the interest rate, have a look, it's a bit different this time. It's 3% per quarter. Now, does anyone know what quarterly rate is? Quarter? So quarter, we always know that it's one, uh, one out of four, isn't it? A quarter is one fourth, yeah? So a quarter in a year, there's four quarters. So a quarter is probably around three months because 12 divided by four is three. So a quarter, make sure it's fourth of a particular unit, in this case, quarter of a year. Now, because we're gonna be dealing with per quarter, we have to also try to look at the period, which is in months, because we have to make them match, don't we? So, have a look at what I'm going to be doing. Let's see what we're going to be doing. In the, because this is given in our monthly period, we're going to try to match it into the quarterly rate, so I can change this into quarters, all right? So, there's, remember how I told you? There's three months in one quarter, because 12 divided by four is three. Yeah, so that's why I'm going to be dividing into three because this is given to us in months. Because there's three months in one quarter, I simply divide the six by three and I'll get two. So in six months, there's two quarters. Does that make sense, guys? That's pretty much what, all you need to do. And now you can see that the interest rate is a quarterly rate and the period is also in quarter. So now they're matching. And once that's all sorted out, we can now use our interest formula. All right, so this is gonna be what I'm gonna be using for my period that I'm gonna be putting at the end, like this. So interest is principal of $6,000 times the interest rate of 3% per quarter, so this is a quarterly rate, but uh, the period, because I also changed to quarters, I can simply put in the two and multiply it throughout, and that's what you should be having. Makes sense, guys, pretty simple, although it's in different units, if you know how many quarters in a year and how many months in a year, this should be pretty simple, guys. Let's try question five. And those who, are, who think they're a little bit confident, I want you to have a go at this one and see if you can try this on your own. But let's have a go. Calculate the amount of simple interest for the loan. 
The principal is $5,000 and again the interest rate is given to us in a quarterly rate, 2% per quarter. But this time the period is three years. Remember in the previous question it was months, but this time it's years. And again you can see that they are not matching because first of all this is a simple interest which is same as the flat rate interest, just make sure you know that one. Um, as I keep mentioning they're pretty much identical. But I want to concentrate on this one because they give it to us in quarters and the periods in years. So let's go ahead and convert, do some converting. So again guys, how many quarters in one year? There's four quarters in one year. So to calculate how many quarters in three years, we simply have to times it by four. Okay, because in one quarter, there's, sorry, in one year, there's four quarters. So in three years, there must be three times four quarters. Does that make sense, guys? So that's equal to 12 quarters. That's all you need to do. So now I've converted the period into quarters. The rate is in quarterly rate. So now we can just plug it into our formula. So principal is $5,000. The rate is 2% per quarter. And there are 12 quarters that we've just calculated there. Now, just multiply. And you should get $1,200 as our interest. Make sense, guys? And that was pretty much it. We've tried all the variety of questions. We've done a lot of converting. So the main part to this is the conversion, which I'm a bit worried about, but make sure you get that one straight. And this one, all about the interest formula.